This video is to show you how to get a uh, Preston steel bearing race out of an aluminum housing. This is the back half of a crankcase. Uh, it's an aluminum casting. And then here is the crank bushing. It's a steel, uh, similar to a Babbitt bearing for a crankshaft. It's pressed into aluminum, so it has a pretty tight uh, press fit. And it's hard to see, but it's into a counterbore, so there's nowhere to get a puller or a press or anything to push it out. Kawasaki calls it unserviceable, but I'll show you how to get these out. Um, what I've done is I've ground the inside of the bearing race down to get through to the steel. I used a little Dremel tool with a grinding die. And now what I'm going to do is run a weld bead all the way around the circle of this to heat it up. And then I'll throw some cold water on it. And what that will do is shrink the steel bearing. And it should give you just enough uh, release for it to either drop out or put a socket in from the other side to uh, tap it out. So I'll put the weld bead in and then I'll show you how to press, uh, press it out. Okay, so now you can see I've got a weld bead all the way around that bearing in there. And that does a couple things. It uh, shrinks the bearing, like I said, and it also gives you a lip to press a socket or bearing on something to drive it out if it's hung up just a tiny little bit. So uh, we'll flip it over and I'll show you how to uh, knock that out. There you go. There's your Preston steel bearing race, and if it'll focus, you can see the outside is perfect. As is the bore in there once we clean it up. So, there you go. Pretty easy. Easy to replace a non-serviceable bearing in case you ever wear one out.